my adventurers, and welcome now to Thursday. Thanks for logging in, Sag. Well, it looks like it is cloudy and rather introverted today, especially as the day progresses. You probably kind of go to work or start the day off feeling pretty social, happy-go-lucky, etc. But then kind of the clouds roll in, and that's the moon moving into Scorpio, which is your subconscious, where we store the weeds in our soul garden, the issues, the fears, the boogeyman, all that stuff, and our childhood issues and things like that. So the moon plunging into the subconscious means that your subconscious emotions bubble up to the surface, and there may be a little bit of conflict in the first half of this transit because the first thing the moon in Scorpio tends to do is draw lines. All right, so if you don't quite know how you feel about you know something from your childhood or something about uh, whatever's come up or how you feel about the boogeyman or how you feel about your girlfriend, you will know once moon hits Scorpio. Boom! This is how I feel. It just draws boundaries, which is good. We need clarity so we can focus and really pull those weeds. So either way, you find I think you'll be a little moody by the second half of the day. Try not to project onto others, especially if what's making you angry or upset or emotional is a pattern in your life. If it's a pattern in your life, it's your issue, buddy. So we're on the sun. We're in chapter two of Sun and Aquarius. This month, Sagittarius is our focusing on the right attitude, getting rid of certain prejudices, stepping into the right mind, so to speak, and really changing our language, changing the way you talk about yourself, talk to yourself, talk about others. All that stuff is usually riddled with a lot of subconscious uh, energy. And today, Venus is ruling the day, so today is a great day to create a beta version of your new attitude. And this is kind of a simple thing. So if you do find yourself going to the dark side because the moon's in Scorpio, this is a good practice for your, for your mind. You can say, you know what? I know this usually makes me mad, but I'm going to just try <laughs> to not respond this way. I'm going to put my mind out there and say, my new attitude is everything will be fine. And even though you may not believe it, try it. Okay? Try the attitude. See how that helps. See if it's less dark or dismal if you have the attitude that everything will be fine. But I do have some good news today. Mercury is showing breakthrough in the Capricorn vibration. That means I think in the next 24 hours or so, Sagittarius are finally going to have a, an awareness of exactly what their value is on the planet. I think you're going to understand how valuable you actually are and understand your potential to be valuable. And that's what you worked on last month. Mercury got behind due to the retrograde. It's finally catching up. It's Thursday. That means we have a new episode of Siddiqui Salters. Running Aid Aromatherapist going live today. Now, she'll help you with that good attitude. She's prescribing plant essences that when you smell them, they kind of hold the intellectual attitude space for you. So don't miss Siddiqui. She's everywhere. Soul Garden does stream. Well, Sagittarius, that wraps up Thursday's show. I'll be here tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. Soul.